But let's go back now to Homa Bay County where Bernardo Zhuang is also on standby. Bernard, sorry for that interruption earlier, but now we got you. And the discussion is about the curriculum and the courses. Tell us what the students there are telling you about the fact that some of the courses they're doing might be suspect. Well, I thank you very much, Ken. We right now we are at uh, Retombe University College, the Constituent College of uh, Maseno University. What's going on here? Currently, uh, students have, uh, are currently demonstrating, and uh, whatever they are saying, uh, that uh, they are demanding to know from the uh, school administration and also the uh, Commission for edu University Education, just to tell them uh, on whether the exact course that they are doing are uh, genuine. And uh, what's going on? Uh, police officers have been deployed here, and. Uh, they are, they, the students have been forced uh, to move, uh, run away from uh, this institution. And currently, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to talk to one of the students here. Just tell, uh, tell me, what do they want? Uh, have they uh, seek, uh, they maybe clarification from the institution? You said with their name. I'm Clinton Odiambo, a student of Trombo University, September 2017. Mm. Uh, what, what's going on in the newspaper and all over that in, school, in our school, 25 courses out of 33 are not approved by the CUE. And we wanted a request from the CU or a representative from the CUE so that to make to make sure that our four years gu is guaranteed that we are not doing a useless course as per the newspaper. Have we tried uh, maybe seeking clarification from uh, the university management? Yeah, we have talked to, we are a constituent of Maseno and the visa of Maseno, the parent university was here and he told us the issue will be sorted out and the report will be given out by Friday. So students have boycotted class until that Friday so we listen for the report from the VC who is our our parent university from Maseno. Currently we are seeing police are all over. Yeah, police are all over. Yesterday one of our leaders talked to the OCS and the OCS said the strike is illegal and shouldn't happen. And today the students have gone to the strike but the OCS said that it shouldn't happen. So police are all over chasing. But I personally am also on strike. I opted for the peaceful means to solve these solutions. Well, I thank you very much. Ken, you've just heard from one of the students there, and he's saying that uh, uh, there's, uh, some of his uh, colleagues are currently demonstrating. They want to know, uh, the, the, they want to know the exact information from uh, uh, both the uh, Commissioner for uh, University Education and also the institution here, Tom Boyer University College. And they are saying that, according to the report that was uh, released yesterday by the uh, Commission uh, for University education, they were saying that Tomboya uh, University College are, are only allowed to uh, offer three courses, but according to the student, they are saying that uh, when they came here, they were told that uh, this university is offering 33 courses, and uh, they are also saying that uh, apart from the, the challenges that they are getting, they are saying that this university lack uh, facilities, uh, and they are also some of the that was taken. The Commission for University Education. Back to you. Remember, we'll be following them as they are going on with their strike. We'll be talking to them and we'll be filing that story for our subsequent bulletin. Back to you, Ken.